Our country will never be the same. And we just hit a new gear. So we will always remember when former President Donald Trump was shot at and literally millimeters away from his life ending. We have seen a lot of things across the internet, a lot of hateful things, a lot of people coming together in prayer, a lot of eyes being opened. And here is why we hit a new gear as a country. There are so many people right now that fully understand, well, maybe not fully, but they're getting it more now than ever before, that we can no longer be silent. We can no longer say, "Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna voice my opinion in fear of others. It is time to share truth in love. A lot of people love sharing truth, but you have to do it in love. I've been receiving so many comments that agree with where my stance is, that we need to come together and pray and murder is not the answer. I've been receiving a lot of hate messages of how could you even speak of this man? He is X, Y, and Z. But all of my responses always came back to murder is a sin and is not the answer. And God has clearly appointed this man, clearly appointed this man. And for some of these responses, actually more often than not, I always led back to scripture. When you look at the Bible and you look at how God chose these men and women that were the most unlikely, he chose sinners, prostitutes, people who stole, lied, cheated, killed other people. Some of the people who are favorite Bible characters, favorite examples of how God used them had the worst rap sheet. So what makes you think that God can't do that through Donald Trump? What makes you think that God can't do that through anybody? Now, I believe, I've seen a lot of different reports, but when you go through a traumatic experience like that, there's an awakening. Just look at a funeral, for example. Anytime there's a funeral, people always are, well, I got to reevaluate. Gosh, like that was, they were gone too soon. There's always a reevaluation process on what truly matters. And I believe that our country hit a new gear for people that have just been sleeping. People that have chosen to be blind of, uh, you know, my point, my opinion doesn't matter. I'm just going to sit back or I don't want any of this violence towards me. Now we can't control other people, but what we can control is how we get to share the messages on our heart. We get to share truth in love. There's a lot of division going on right now. But for those that are listening to this right now, wherever you're listening to, wherever you're listening on, I believe that people want peace. They want love. And sure, has this former president been the best example of that in the past? No, nobody is the best example, but we can always try again. We wake up the next day, there's another try. We can take another breath in, there's another try. It's literally that simple. So many people just overcomplicate it though. So this is definitely one of the shortest podcasts I've ever had. But what I want you to do right now is to go out there, maybe record a video, put up a post, go text some people, go call some people. How can you share your truth in love with them? You don't have to believe what I believe. But what I do believe is this country needs prayer now more than ever. Evil has shown its full hand. Now, I don't know about you, but what I do know is that it's only going to get darker. However, it's always the darkest before the dawn. And the only reason it's so dark right now because so many of you are hiding your light. You're not getting out there and shining your light. Darkness just doesn't take over. It's because light stopped. It's because it stopped. You have the chance right now. You have the opportunity right now to go shine that light, to go share your truth, to go say to people, this is where I stand. And I will ask you as an American, as somebody who loves her country, as somebody who wants the best for this country, for everyone, to vote this November 2024. Your vote matters. Your vote matters your voice matters. You can start by sharing your voice now. And you will probably push away people. They're like, I can't believe you'd believe that. You draw on people be like, oh my gosh, me too. And I would encourage you, even if other people have different beliefs, 
It doesn't mean we have to completely push them away. I've been seeing people being like, if you believe this, then just lose my number or, you know, unfollow me or what have you. I wouldn't say that. I would say if there's anything here that resonates with you, amazing. I'm going to continue to pray over you. I've had so many conversations recently of people who are like, I really don't want to unfriend you. I really don't want to. And I'm like, then don't. I'm not saying anything disrespectful. You're just asking what I believe. Just because it it doesn't align with yours doesn't mean that we still can't be friends. Like so many people want to just cut it off. And sometimes, you know, there's a time and a place where you can. But I say, let's, let's take the harder route and let's lead people with love. Jesus didn't agree with everybody, obviously. He still led by example. He didn't cut people off. There are times where you have to distance yourself from other people because it's not good. They've clearly chosen another path. But at the end of the day, use your discernment. And we've talked about this on other episodes before. But are you operating in this season, this time with what's happening right now? Are you operating in your emotions, in your feelings, or in discernment? So with emotions, how you're feeling right there, right now. Feelings, you're recollecting on a past experience and you're bringing it into the present. Or discernment, Lord, what do you want me to say in this moment? I believe if more of us acted in discernment, we took a beat, took a breath, took a day, took a week. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time and that's okay. But to make sure that we are using words that are impactful, powerful, and intentional, and not trying to hurt other people, gosh, imagine if more people did that. Now, I'm speaking to myself. I know there's times where I'm like, ooh, that was a little harsh. That was a little snippy. That was not so nice. That was, I was hangry there. I was hurt here. <laughs> it happens. But we can say, you know what? Mm, that maybe wasn't the best of me. Let me try again. Let's continue to get better. So I am praying for the Trump family. I am praying for President Donald Trump. I am praying that he heals and there's a huge awakening there. And I believe there already has been. And at the same time, this should be a wake-up call for everybody. For everybody on so many different levels. Because you never know what can happen. You never know what can happen. But don't be afraid to voice and speak your truth. In love. In love. I say that over and over again because I used to not speak in love. I used to just speak truth and it was harsh and it was blunt. So I wanted to give this message to you today because it was just heavy on my heart. What can you go share today to let people know where you stand? Let people know where you stand. We always want to be around people where we know where they stand. It's your turn. It's absolutely your turn. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode. It means the world to me that you would lean in, listen in, and be able to hear the value that's being shared on this show. Don't forget, if you love this episode, rate the show, leave me a review, be sure to share it with a friend, and don't forget to tag me on social media. I will definitely be giving you a shout out. Also, come say hi, drop in the DMs. I would love to be able to hear what stood out to you the most on the episode And if there's any topics that you would like to hear on the show, we'll see you next time.